see your earnings from me to your work. Leaning further to be in the jerk. The CD's burning and he's in the, the shirt. The Victoria hip hop scene continues to make its mark in a number of local venues like Sugar, Logan's, and right here at Lucky Bar. And I've been pretty impressed recently with a number of local artists who are making music videos, expressing to the rest of the world what it means to be a rap artist from the South Island. Now I got you with my pop. Meet TBA, the Beat Assassins, comprised of ALF1 and Token Black. These guys pound the pavement when it comes to recording rap songs and performing at live shows in this city. Oh look, I fell on a beat again. Now I can speak again. Go out and seek a friend. Hope we can meet again. Give you a ALF1, the man behind the beats, also a rapper. When producing a tune, he's always on the hunt for a good quality sample. The basic idea is to find the best sounds I can off of a record and to use those because there's not a MIDI instrument out there that's going to be mastered and perfected to the same quality as that stuff, right? So that's really kind of where it comes from. Also, I like a little laid back, hard hitting kind of a swishy sound. I don't like this programmed metronomic sound that's coming out right now. He then layers recorded percussion over funky loops while shaping song elements into what is commonly referred to as an old school sound. He's just finished work on Token's self-titled album. You know, hip-hop has always been an explanation of what is going on around you, you know? It's, it's a borrow-and-take culture, it's just, you know, what you see, what is the most influencing you at the time. So, I mean, you know, we're living in Victoria, it's not New York by any means. I'm never, ever bland, they never, never land. The Beat Assassins work with local videographers to create music videos. Recognizable locations put Victoria on the national hip-hop stage. All the videos are up on YouTube. Today we're going to look at two TBA tracks calling out for attention. Firstly, Idiom, with vocals by Token Black, who originally moved to Victoria about eight years ago by way of Toronto. Look up the definition of the word idiom. It is, a, it, it is just an expression. It is a, a thing, it's a, a feeling that I have. It's what I wanted to get across. You come across quite friendly, you know, like, I'm thinking Will Smith funny as well. Are you trying to be funny? Not at all. No, I, the parents don't understand. We all know this and it's true, but no. Um, uh, again, more, more than anything, I'm trying to be poignant. There's a lot of negativity. I think Token Black gets... Uh, the job done when it comes to expressing that negativity in a positive way, or at least from a spot where you don't feel defeated. Take it as a down payment. I've made some profound statements. How can education amount to account payment? I rap more about my own experiences. I'm, I'm, I'm a rapper in Victoria, but not from Victoria. So it's good because I have a, a perspective that's a little bit more wider based, a little bit more worldly. I've been around the, the whole entire country, so I've been able to see how the country works and how different parts of the country see hip hop, see themselves. Perhaps the most successful commercial Canadian hip-hop artist at the moment is Drake. A shining example of corporately manufactured music for the masses. Word on the street, this guy was seen making out with Rihanna. A-list celebrity. But it's grassroots Canadian hip-hop talent like Classified or Sweatshop Union. Both seem to have carved their own niche in the Canadian hip-hop industry. And while a lot of big-budget top 40 rap is about babes and bling, the Canadian underground movement is fighting for its place, where lyrics reflect more of a conscious tone. These people classified, and Sweatshop Union especially, I like that you use those two names, is they've done it themselves overseas and in different countries doing tours. And so they kind of have showed us that, you know, doors can be opened by yourself. You don't have to sign to a record label and become a Drake if you don't want to, you know, you can push and you can, you know, find your own avenues. Free from the heaviness and stress that that leaves. Free to build a future without bank breaking schemes. The student debt crisis, you sing about this. And it's kind of a heavy subject and it's a, a big subject to try and tackle in a hip hop song. It's, it's something that really should be addressed in this country, especially in BC with the how high it is like really overall like he's been through it uh, I won't go through it I refuse to <laughs> I'm going through it, yeah. going through it. My mind's a death sentence. in Victoria I'm James Green for the daily I don't spend time talking to boring people I'm out to get minds and hopes that yours is equal the problem is that I see more in people but I'm sick of asking and imploring people I think that I'll just start ignoring people 
because talking's like a chore with people. <laughs>